Hi and welcome to Airguns of Arizona's product showcase. Today we're going to take a look at the Brocock Contour. It's a new extremely lightweight hunter. The gun comes with a skeletonized walnut thumbhole stock. It has a female foster fitting on the front to fill with a dust cap. Removing the dust cap you can easily install your female foster fitting on the front. Once the gun is full remove your foster fitting replace your dust cap and you're ready to go out and hunt. The gun comes standard with a factory installed moderator. It is a single shot gun. To operate this lightweight hunter, depressing the lever on the right side back of the breech, the bolt comes back, continue to pull it back, cocks the gun, inserting your pellet, pushing the bolt forward, the gun's now ready to fire, aiming in a safe direction, The gun's ready to be discharged. The gun comes with an 11 millimeter scope rail to accept any 11 millimeter scope mounts. The gun has a two stage adjustable trigger and the butt pad on the gun is adjustable in elevation to make a more comfortable fit for the shooter. The stock is a right handed only stock so the gun is made for right handed shooters. The gun will achieve on full power 20 to 25 shots. The size of the air reservoir is very small, making it a fantastic gun for backpacking. You're able to carry your pump very easily, aired to full pressure with a hand pump. Makes this gun a very portable, lightweight, backpacking, hunting air gun. The thumb hole stock can be shot in two positions, either thumb through or thumb up, and the Brocock Contour comes with a one year factory warranty. Let's take it out to the range now and see what we can do. Well, welcome out to the test field. We've got the Brocock Contour out here. We're going to see what kind of groups we can get. We'll start out with the trigger release weight and to do some velocity tests with an 18 grain JSB and then an SN2 Dynamic 10 alloy pellet. First test we'll do is the trigger release. The average trigger pull for the Brocock Contour Ultralight Rifle was one pound, nine ounces. Okay, now we'll go into some velocity testing. The first pellet I'm gonna use is gonna be the 18 grain JSB pellet. The average velocity with the 18 grain JSB pellet was 604.9, giving a foot pound of energy average of 14.8. Okay, now we'll move on to the Dynamic SN2 10 alloy pellet that weighs 12.85 grains. The SN2 pellet at 12.85 grains, average was 707.76 feet per second giving it 14.3 foot-pounds of energy. Okay, let's go do some 20-yard groups now with the 18-grain JSB. We'll shoot a five-shot group and see what we get. Let's go downrange and see what we got. Gave me a center to center group at 20 yards. 
of .297. Now we're going to shoot a five shot group with the Dynamic 10 Alloy SN2 pellet. Go down and check the target and see what kind of group we got. The 20 yard 5 shot group for their dynamic SN2 pellet looks like a .434 center to center at 20 yards. Okay now we're going to go out to 50 yards and see what kind of groups we can get at 50. The first pellet I'm going to try at 50 again is going to be the 18.1 grain JSV pellet. Okay, now we're going to go out to 50 yards with the Dynamic SN2 tin alloy pellet. The 50 yard group for the 18 grain JSB center to center comes out at about a .883 and the SN2 Dynamic tin alloy pellet, the non-toxic pellet, came out center to center at about a point six five two. Okay, now we're going to do a sound decibel test as the rifle would sound to the shooter at his ear. That gives us an average of 98.9. .9. Well that wraps up the field test of the Brocock Ultralight Contour Rifle. Until next time, shoot straight. That again. Sorry, we'll turn you off. <laughs> They said MCG will tell you if you leave the battery on. <laughs> what went through my head? Here we go. <laughs> Chris is going to get the giggles now. Let me see a look on his face. Okay. Hang on. Josh, hang on a minute. Hey. Oh, you're doing good over there. Yeah, I think I can hit you from here. Oh my gosh.